Ban Al Mahdi Youth Foundation is a community based youth organization founded in 1994. Although Mohiban was initiated by Shia Muslim youth, we strive to empower youth from our local communities without any discrimination of race, religion, caste, color, or ethnicity. We organize recreational, social, and interfaith activities for our local communities, and since the restructuring of our organization in 2006, we have enhanced our activity area to Greater Manchester in the field. We are a volunteer-run organization which is managed and run by youth volunteers. Our regular youth members get together every Saturday and participate in learning and sports activities. We hold weekly Quranic and history classes for the younger children from the ages of 4 to 16. These include the development of recitation, pronunciation and tafsir of the Quran. Every Saturdays we have classes from 11 to 3 at Manchester Islamic Institute. It's very good, they teach us a lot of things. They teach us Quran, Tajweed and this actually helps us. Also they give us self-confidence which helps us academically. And, and when uh, at the end they have a difference and at the What's first the and What's in the, the middle. At the end they don't do Laila Hailullah two times, they just do it one time. And what else the difference? Um, uh, at the first, they don't do four like Azan, they do two. Yeah. But in the middle, they don't. In the middle, they don't. I should do a Laila Haila and I should do a Na Ali and Hajjatullah. What's the difference? Last difference. Last difference between Azan and Farah. When you're standing up for the mouths, what, what did they say? The teachers taught me uh, really nice things how to pronunciation of Quran and uh, some lectures about English stuff and Imams, prophets and we go on good trips and safari parks to learn about it. One of the greatest things that I've learned in Mohibar is to actually read the Quran and read the Quran fluently with the Jweed. So therefore, I also learned how to speak it in English, so certain words, the translation. And when I learned the translation, I could imply the fact that what I've learned in life. I like Mohiban um, al-Mahdi classes because they're very fun and they teach us a lot of stuff, like the Quran and how to pronounce it. Alongside this, we also introduce basic Islamic jurisprudence and history lessons, which aim to provide an insight and basis to the fundamental beliefs within Islam and develop a platform for further knowledge and understanding. Apart from the kids, we have also started Quranic classes for the adults, uh, where they come, they uh, learn Arabic, they learn Quran, they learn uh, loads of different things, and there are Najul Balagha uh, classes as well. Uh, I've been uh, teaching uh, the Najul Balagha, that is the peak of eloquence, which is in fact uh, a collection of some of the sermons, letters and maxims of Imam Ali alayhi salam for over two years and uh, during which I've explained some of the uh, sermons and letters and possibly some of the maxims of this Imam alayhi salam. Of course uh, the number of the people who usually attend my lectures vary some, as you see, that sometimes more people come and sometimes just a few people come. But what's more important for me is just to, humbly speaking, communicate or convey the messages of the Imam alayhi salam as explained and mentioned in the Nahj al Alongside religious activities, we hold weekly sports and recreation activities ranging from football, basketball, badminton, to judo and karate. This provides an opportunity for social interaction and enjoyment, helping to develop important skills such as teamwork, communication and leadership. We hold a multitude of annual events such as Beyond Karbala, Back to Karbala, Preface to Karbala, Christianity and Islam, the Religions of Mercy, Eid al-Zahra, the Martyrdom of Imam Ali, Chosen among women, Holy Mary and Lady Fatima, voice of human justice. Our flagship event, though, is the annual Imam Mahdi Conference, which has been running for almost a decade. We have invited and hosted world-renowned speakers, such as Dr. Sayyid Amman Akshwani, Hasnan Rajabali, Sayyid Jawad Kazwini, Sayyid Bakir Kazwini, 
Sayyid Mustafa Mudarasi, Sheikh Muhammad Ahilli and Sayyid Muhammad Musavi, just to name a few. These events attract audiences from all four corners of the country, engaging all different community ethnicities and races. Aside from lectures, Mahiban holds courses and workshops ranging from theological principles and religious obligations in today's world. We have held ziyarat trips abroad for Umrah and Iran and have provided opportunities for the youth to develop and seek spiritual fulfillment. In the major Islamic months throughout the calendar, we work closely with various organizations in Greater Manchester, such as the IUS, Shaheed Foundation and local community centres to organise majalis and Eid programmes which can cater communities in different areas and in different centres. We hold majalis throughout Manchester with community projects to invite local young renowned speakers to attract younger audiences and provide more beneficial majalis throughout the year. Mohiban organizes an annual Imam Hussein awareness campaign called the Tenth Day. It is an ambitious task to spread the message of Hussein that he left for the whole of mankind. We aim to inform the world of his stand for justice, freedom, and liberty through adverts and engagement using social media platforms, bus adverts, flags, billboards, telephone booths, flags across the city of Manchester. We have reached audiences totaling over a quarter of a million and sparking interest in publications from all corners of the world. With our budget for the campaign expanding exponentially, we aim to publicise and stamp the message of Hussein across the entire world, informing the universe of his stand for all of our rights. Yes, I um, came across the 10 day.com campaign and I'm absolutely uh, happy about it. It's very positive, very encouraging, and it's, um, it's a good way of getting the message of Imam Hussein out to all the people. Yeah, I think Mohiban's done a great job with their Imam Hussein awareness campaign. MashaAllah, it's been a great success since last year. It has reached out to many people, Muslims and non-Muslims. This is the best campaign in the whole world. It tells you of the sacrifices that Imam Hussein made for your human rights. He's the greatest defender of human rights the world has ever known. Without Imam Hussein, we would not be here today. Today, people like tyrants like Yazid and Mayyad would be ruling and we would be enslavement. He freed us and this is what this campaign is about. It lets you know what he stood for and it's for this excellent campaign and, and I recommend everyone to take part in it and uh, contribute as much as possible because this is for your liberty that Imam Hussein died. Mohibam strives upon empowering the youth, thus its committee, volunteers and helpers are all students at local, college and university level. This provides them with a platform to engage with their community and help give back to society. 
My ban holds the importance of youth as its fundamental principle and will continue to nurture and develop key skills, traits and characteristics which will be invaluable in later life. <laughs>